Spaghetti for sure. I was just thinking the same thing. Leviathan Masks. What's up, dog? I know that dude's getting stoked for Pale Fest. Fun fact about him is he was the only person to get a casual AJ photo last year. There were some people that got pictures of me without my mask on after the after the after the festival, but I had all my makeup smeared everywhere and shit. But uh, he was the only one that caught me early enough in the morning that I was still in regular clothes, regular whatever. So. Uh. I just had uh, some super good los. I had a Hawaiian fajita. And it was so good. All right, guys. <clears throat> Welcome to another episode of Mailbox Monday. We've got actually a lot of packages here. And like half of them showed up today randomly. So I kept waiting to have enough mail, especially because uh, little Mads wanted to Really wanted me to open her package, and we've got that here today. So uh, I didn't want to make an episode with three packages, but now we've got enough. So this uh, episode is dedicated to Madison. Uh, as always, we're going to start with the small stuff, work our way over to the big stuff. And uh, man, I'm in a fucking food coma right now. I just had such good Mexican food that I can't even stand it. Give me a second. Shirt slays. Hell yeah, it does. All right, let's rock. First up, we have got a small envelope. This is from Ghosty Russ. I knew that already. Uh, this is something I actually requested because um, I had an old cowboy hat that was pretty raggedy. Slapped stickers all over it. Has has drawings and stencils and all kinds of other shit on there but one of my favorite stickers that's on it is a ghosty rust sticker that was uh holographic and uh when i went to texas i got real cowboy hats and i got some that fit me and i started stickering one of those up and it needed a ghosty rust sticker so i just requested a ghosty rust slap and it looks like we got more than just the single ghosty rust sticker uh there's going to be some dope shit in there actually so we'll read the We'll read the uh, the letter first. It says, AJ, here are the stickers you requested. And some extras plus a little something for your Pokemon collection. Hope you enjoy from Ghosty Russ. Fuck yeah. Love the sound of that. Let's see what we've got. All right. So, damn, there's a lot of them. First up, the ones that I requested. These very holographic... Very cool. Ghosty Rust Slaps. Show you one by itself. Those are pretty dope, dude. Super sick. Super sick. So, there's those. I will definitely be putting one of those on the cowboy hat tonight. The next set are some SmackDown style Ghosty Rust Slappers there. See, we got multiples of those as well. And then this is fucking sick. Damn. Graded. A nine. Graveler. And I've got a couple graded cards. But presentation-wise, this is the nicest for sure. I've got some uh, some graded Venusaurs over there. And their, uh, their case is nice, but it's not nearly as nice as this. This is fucking sick, so... Super shouts to Russ for the hookup. Love the stickers. Love the Graveler. Uh, Graveler and Geodude are definitely uh, some cool Pokemon. I think Geodude was probably my first favorite Pokemon way, way back in the day. Um, obviously, now I like uh, Venusaur, Weezing, whatever. But uh, yeah, Graveler and uh, Geodude were definitely some early favorites. Oh, Russ is in the chat. What's up, man? 
I can actually read what you guys are saying this time because um, I'm shooting straight from the MacBook this time, not from my phone. So hell yeah. Shout out to Ghosty Russ. If you guys don't follow Ghosty Russ, uh, go head up Russ over on Instagram. <clears throat> He's obviously the man. So moving on, we've got one of the packages that came today. This is from Steadman Saxon, maybe. I don't know. Can't read it real well, but there's a tribal S on the outside and it says do not bend. So let's go ahead and take a look, see what we've got. Love the thrill of the surprise. I'm trying to be gentle opening this. I bet Mads is watching this and just fucking losing her shit because she has to wait probably till last because I think her package is the biggest. So, all right, looks like we got a Manila folder full of uh, some fan art here. First up, we got the the classic house by Trash Bag Ghost there. Very nice. We got a very cool rendition of the mask up logo. There you go there. And then we've got, oh, a very, very long note to read. And there's money in here. So let's see what that's about. I'm going to set these to the side. All right. Buckle up. This is a long one. Dear AJ Good at the House of Masks, I'm a huge fan. My name is Stedman. I am 16 years old, and I have been watching your channel for about two years now. I'm also a heavy metal and horror movie fan for as long as I can remember. When I discovered your channel, I was absolutely and instantly hooked. Your channel offered me so much that I'd always want from a YouTube channel, and I'm so happy that I found your channel. Everything from unboxings, reviews, conversions, horror movie content, and everything in between, but most importantly, Slipknot. I'd be lying if I said Slipknot wasn't my favorite band of all time, because trust me, to do so many... Wait, I skipped a line. Uh, because, trust me, Slipknot has become my life. Your channel has inspired me to do so many things. I've started my own Slipknot mask collection thanks to you. I've started collecting horror movie masks as well because of you. John Carpenter's Halloween is definitely my favorite horror movie of all time, and I hope to one day soon start my own YouTube channel and Slipknot mask in history. Uh, and feature many other topics as well. You've inspired me to do so much, AJ. And I thank you and your channel for that. I honestly didn't ever think I'd be able to afford Slipknot masks for my collection, considering the price of some of them. But after seeing your channel, you inspired me to save up my money. And I was finally able to afford my first mask, a Volume 3 Chris Fane mask. Now I have three masks in my collection, and I hope to be able to afford some more soon. I've even made slash converted a mask as well. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that I look up to you deeply as a content creator and I strive to be more like you, AJ. And I thank you very, very much for doing what you do. Oh, uh, fuck. I lost my place. Good job, Lexi. Interrupting my stream. I always check my messages because I think my mom or something might be might be dead. <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that I look up to you deeply as a content creator. And I strive to be more like you, AJ. And I thank you very, very much for doing what you do and for making the amazing content you make. And I also thank you for inspiring me in so many ways. You've taught me so much about my favorite band that I... You taught me so much about my favorite band that I never knew before, and I thank you for that as well. But anyways, about the art I've included, I've been doing all types and forms of art since a really young age, but I mostly like drawings, as I am sure you've already seen. I've included two drawings in this fan mail. Like I said, I'm 16, but my 17th birthday is on June 25th, and it would mean so much if you could autograph the drawing with the number one on the back and send it back to me. I would, It would really be the best birthday present I could receive but i completely understand if you don't want to autograph it i know lots of people don't really like to do autographs and i'm sure you're very busy so i promise i understand if you don't want to autograph it 
But if you do autograph it, I promise it will be the best birthday gift I get this year. And if you do autograph it, then I truly can't thank you enough. AJ, also, I know it's not much, but here's 20 bucks for the channel. Hopefully, you can put it towards a new mask. Thank you again, AJ, for all that you do. And thank you again for inspiring me. I can't wait to see your next video. And if you don't autograph the drawing, then you are free to keep both of them. But if you do autograph the drawing, number one, then you can keep drawing number two. Don't ever stop doing what you do, AJ. And as always, stay sick. Thanks again from Stedman. P.S. I really hope that you like the drawings. Jesus Christ, that was all so nice that I kind of want to cry. It was long, but it was so nice. Okay, so here's what I've gathered. That was probably the nicest fan mail I think I've ever received. Fan letter, anyways. So we got to look at these drawings. This is the one that he wants autographed. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find a decent Sharpie. I'm going to sign it. I'm going to set this over here so I don't forget the address. And I'm going to mail it back with an AJ Good mask for your birthday. So happy birthday. Thank you for the letter. That was super, super nice. I'm going to give you 20 bucks back too. Um, I don't need that, but I appreciate it. Uh, and I hope that that makes your birthday special. I'll uh, write you a special note inside of the mask and I'll send it out tomorrow morning. Hopefully it gets to you before your birthday. When did it say your birthday was? June 25th. What's today? I think we missed it. All right. It's going to be a late birthday gift, but uh, hopefully that hopefully that makes your birthday a little more special. I appreciate the art. I appreciate the letter. And uh, I'll make sure to get that art hung up on the wall. And yeah, that was just so nice. He was seriously so nice. All right. Thanks, Stedman. That's an interesting name too, by the way. Onward. Next up, we've got something from Neo Trade Clothing. Let's see. Oh, look how fancy their little envelopes are. I don't even want to tear that up. I feel bad. I think I uh, he sent something in not too long ago, and uh, I said I was like freaking out about the stickers. Uh, of the panther and he was like yo i didn't know you'd like that so much uh i'll send you a shirt of that and then that's what we got so let's see damn it there you go the grim reaper pink panther that is actually fucking sick i do love that design so that's super cool Shout out to Neo Trad, Neo Trad Clothing. I don't know why I had such a hard time saying that when I literally said it right the first time. Um, they've sent in before. Dude seems like a super genuinely nice guy. And uh, like I said, he knew that I liked these stickers. So he just went ahead and sent me the shirt. So fucking rad. I'll definitely put that to use. Um, just keep going with my pile over here. All right, moving on. We have something from FMM in Sutton, West Virginia. I think I know who this is from, but we'll see. Logan Stein. Damn, sent a big old super chat. He says, uh, shout out to AJ and Bishop for breeding the most healthy and non-toxic version of the hobby and fixing the version of the hobby that I came into years and years ago. P.S. Glad to see Bishop moving close and being healthy for AJ. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, thank you very much, Logan. You are the absolute man. Logan is a local, um, so that's super cool to see. 
And yeah, Logan, me and Logan go way back. Even before masks, we were just like little skate park kids. He was a fucking blader and I was a skater and uh, all that good shit. But yeah, he came into the hobby 11, 12 years ago, 13 years ago, something like that. And uh, it was a different place, but he says we're non-toxic. Reddit says I'm cancer. Um, just gave a kid a fucking nice like 90 something dollar mask for his birthday for free i'm gonna throw some stickers in there and shit i'm the cancer i'm cancer for sure logan thanks for the super chat man i uh, appreciate that and i appreciate the kind words for sure so. oh yeah i love the braxy goodies so that's uh that's who i expected this to be from mr andrew smith down at the uh the flatwoods monster museum you ready for this hi aj we had a few new wait we had a new fun shirt printed and some new stickers made as well i thought you needed one of each thanks for the great content look for me in the live chats i try to hit them when i see them andrew are you in this live chat and then he put ps i like aj good down at the bottom i like that uh all right let's see visit the Flatwoods Monster Museum. There's Braxy. Here are some of the stickers. That's cool. I'm going to assume that glows in the dark. It looks like it glows in the dark. Cool design. Here's a similar one. I would also assume this probably glows in the dark. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but they uh, they look they look like they do. We got these guys in uh, what red and green. I have the I have the blue ones. I literally just put another blue one on my fridge the other day because I took down my whiteboard. So now I've got a whole set, all the colors. And then we've got oh, this is sick. Beavis and Butthead shirt. Braxy and Mothman. That's fucking sick as fuck. Actually, I really like that. Hell yeah. Shout out to the Flatwoods Monster Museum for always coming through. They've probably been featured on Mailbox Mondays more than anybody, honestly. I think they probably sent in like six times or something now. So pretty sick. Shout out to Andrew and the Flatwoods Monster Museum. Just ironically or coincidentally, I guess, happens to be my favorite cryptid. My favorite looking cryptid uh, is Braxy. So works out. All right, let's keep cruising. We got uh, something here from Connor Knox. Liverpool, Ohio. Never heard of it. This thing is it's certainly wrapped away. We're not even going to finish taking it out of the out of the paper. Bonus points for the holographic tape on the inside. We love holographic shit. All right. We've got a note right on top. Buckle up. This one's long, too. And it says, hi, AJ, my name is Connor. I'm a 13-year-old mask collector, and I've been a part of the channel for two years. I've been meaning to send this out, but money isn't easy at my age. But the piece was hand-painted by me, most importantly, the something. Uh, sorry, I can't read that. Brings you joy because I'm happy to give you one of favorite personal masks to you and i hope you find a good place for it somewhere in your collection and i hope to see it at pale fest 2023 yes this time i'm showing up but i personally feel like it belongs with you also if you could since i'm 13 what would be the cheapest way for me to get a jizz mac dog head because i'm a huge that's what she said guar fan and i have been looking to get my hands on a jizz mac lust in space dog head mask because I've really wanted one so badly. If you have an answer, please shoot me a text on Insta. Thank you. P.S. I live in East Liverpool, which is about three hours away from Chillicothe. Also, 
Your copy of my burlap mask is being made sometime in the summer. I also have a YouTube channel called Killer Gremlin Masks. Oh, I recognize that username. Um, and I also hope to work together. And if you want to send something in return, my address is on the back. And there it is. Uh, okay, so first of all, thanks. Appreciate all that. Second of all, before I forget, the Jizmac Lust in Space stuff, it's just not going to happen. Um, not cheaply, anyways. Uh, my first ever real Guar piece was a Jizmac piece, and it's still one of the most expensive things I ever bought in my life. It's $2,500. And it was stage used, like, but um, for some reason, the studio commission stuff costs almost more than the stage used shit between collectors. So, Guar also really does not allow bootlegs. Like, Slipknot. There's this whole like underground market of all these replicas and shit, but the uh, the Guar stuff is definitely like on lockdown. So your only option, honestly, would be to get a uh, a slave pit one, and they're not cheap. They're fucking sick, but they're not cheap. I still need a Lust version, or I guess like a Beyond Hell to current day type. That's the only like sculpt I'm missing. Um, granted, there are different finishes. Uh, for each album or whatever, but I still need one of those, and I can't bring myself to pay the price. I think, I think the mask alone is like twelve hundred or something like that. So, uh, it's cool to see a thirteen-year-old that's so stoked about Guar that they want something like that, though. So, just you know, I don't know. You'll be working in a couple of years. Just start saving like a hundred bucks from each paycheck, and by the end of a summer, you'll be able to get one or something. Uh, there's just not a good answer for those they're they're expensive and there's one way to get them so um yeah now let's see what we've got i do recognize the username though for sure there's a little uh ball sack the jaws of death art and then oh ooh, oh shit we got a tech deck I always use more tech decks this will be my new desk tech deck because my other tech decks get so much use that the grip tape is actually coming off. First try inward heel. I think I got it. Nope. There we go. All right. Let me make sure there's nothing else in here. All right. Here's the mask. I'll let you guys see it first. Holy shit. This drummer. Oh, shout out to this guy. This dude's so dedicated. I'll talk about it in a second. Let me read his uh, super chat real quick. Truly appreciate your passion for Slipknot, especially the relationship you've built with some of the members. Love seeing the Jay stuff. Hell yeah, man. I'm, I'm going to show Jay your thing. Uh, I meant to before this, but I will definitely mention it the next time that we talk. We have to have some some business-related meetings here soon. I'll, uh, I'll, give you a, I'll give you a sneak peek at maybe a secret project that's happening uh you guys won't be able to see it too well that is a screenshot from a conference call on zoom that i had uh two weeks ago with myself jay uh and paul booth so you heard it here first, and this is the only place that you'll hear it. Can't tell you what's going down, but it should be pretty cool. So this drummer, thank you. Um, this drummer has been shooting a video every single day. I'll show you. Trying to get Jay's attention so he can sound check jay's uh drum set so here's a 97 not only did he debut it because it was the first time that they played Italy, but also because it has a sentimental value to him. If you guys want to check out the full story, go over to the House of Mass channel on YouTube and listen to AJ Good's story. All right. So what, you're 98 days in now? Or is that, that was today, right? 97 days, 15 hours ago. He's 97 days into this, posting every single day. And trust me, doing those clown projects and shit, doing something every day, 
no matter how long or short it takes is not easy. And filming and editing a full video every single day is not easy. So you guys should go over it. We should make this happen. We should at least try. This drummer won on Instagram. Everybody go follow him and just tag Jay in his videos. And maybe Jay will see it and it'll happen. I, th I think that anybody that does something every day for 100 days is obviously pretty dedicated. And I think that if you've already done 100 days, you're probably going to keep doing it until Jay allows it. And Jay's all about the fans. So why would it not happen? So this drummer won. Go tag Jay. Let's get this dude to sound check Jay's drums. That's like, a, that. I'm assuming that's his dream. So fuck yeah. Shout out to this drummer, especially for that super chat. I appreciate you, man. And I will make sure to show Jay. I promise. Now, didn't mean to take away from Killer Gremlin Masks unboxing here. So again, I'm going to show you guys first. Ready? Here is his hand painted mask that he sent in we've got some uh it's almost corpse painty but with uh like different colors oh dude the camera's definitely not going to show all the textures that are on there it's actually pretty killer killer gremlin fuck yeah dude super sick he wants to see this displayed at pale fest i wonder where we can stick it so that it'll be good and noticeable at pale fest i'll have to think on that um Hell yeah, dude. Check it out. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Man, this is a good mailbox Monday. I'm having fun with this one. All right. Shout out to Killer Gremlins Masks. We'll find a good place for that. And, uh, you know, oh, I should hide it. I shouldn't put it in plain sight. I should hide it somewhere in the collection. And then see if he can find it. And if he can find it and show me a picture of it, then he'll get a prize or something, right? That's a good idea. I'm going to do that. I'm hiding your mask in the collection somewhere. And if you can find it and show me a picture that you found it, I'll give you a prize at Pale Fest. Oh, I should read who this came from. This is from Tristan Goel. Posidas Perez in Mexico. I am positive that I just absolutely butchered that name. Absolute corn. I don't know what that means. Is that good? Is corn a good thing? I was kind of scared. I don't know why I thought I was going to open this and have like a fucking, there's going to be like a bomb in it or something. Oh, I probably shouldn't say that on a live stream. AJ is getting the horns down tattooed on his forehead. He doesn't know it yet, but it's happening. It's not, but I already have the horns. I already have the horns, so can't get it again. Not on my forehead anyways. Definitely not on my forehead. Anyways, all right, let's check it out. Uh, I can tell you this looks sick, but I see an envelope in here, so let's read that first. All kinds of goodies in this thing. All right, we got some reading to do. A lot of reading on this episode. Hey, AJ, I'm Hyper Rot. Don't want to make this a big letter, but I want to say thank you very much for being an inspiration since I was 14 years old. I'm 19 now, and all I can say is that you made me a collector and mask maker, so thank you. Thank you. Mask up. 
talking about this piece this is a Corey volume three the last of my mold don't know the exact name of this version but it's like the weird yellow or pre-download i think you must have this one in your collection with your volume three number eight set thanks for everything i have a youtube channel too where i do reviews of masks but in spanish hugs from mexico for the people interested they can find me like this on social media hydro tristan on youtube hydro t dot yt on facebook and at hydro t y t on instagram p.s hugs from all your fans in mexico we are a lot i've heard that which is interesting uh donde esta la leche if you know what i mean so there's those real real good plug if you know what i mean and set those to the side take a look at some of these stickers and then we can take a look at um the mask i do see the mask sticking out it looks pretty sick honestly looks like we've got some there's like a shitload of each each kind here i'm gonna assume that's like a 0. 0.5 Jim, like a pixelated version. Got Corey on the urinal. A couple of those. Hi, we're Corey. Jordan Bushby, welcome to Friends. Thank you, I appreciate that. Hydro Tristan with the goat. This is, it looks like a combination of Corey, Iowa, and any later style gym with the chin missing. And then we've got a drawing that is kind of stuck together. Oh, uh, that's sick. It's the gold Joey bloody version of my death mask. Hell yeah. It says, with love to AJ. Fucking sick. Very cool. Like caricature comic style. All right. Let's take a look at this mask. Make sure that's all that's in there. Yep. This thing looks nice. Looks pretty bright. Pretty vibrant. Wrapped up very, very well. All right, I'm just going to rip it open. It's trying to be nice. It's weird to see one of these made out of straight latex now. I think almost everybody's making them out of like PU foam. But there we go. It's a little misshapen because of how it was in there. So I have to get it stuffed. But you get the general idea. And I don't have this version yet, so he was right on the money. I don't have this, and that is a very unique version. Um, only a couple photos that I've ever seen of it at a live show, I think during OzFest, maybe they were outside daytime shots. So Logan Stein says, AJ has always been a genuine dude, no matter what the internet says, local or not. Glad to say I was here since day one. Glad that I'm glad that I go down as a real low key piece of house of masks history. He does. I've got special pieces that have gone back and forth between me and Logan as well. Uh, thank you for the, again, the super chat Logan, but uh, mostly thank you for uh, sticking up for me because boy, oh boy, have they been saying some actual fucked up stuff lately. There we go. Super sick. Needed it for the collection. And here we have it. So shout out to Hydro T. Make sure to hit those socials. Make sure to hit them, hit them. Adding to my pile down here. We're getting close. We have two boxes left. Uh, this comes from Mask Manger Vinny Ratlock. I think.
Okay. There's a whole content table of contents right here. And there's also something for Bishop. And then this one says to me and Bishop together if he is around. So Bishop is not around, but I can <clears throat> set these to the side for now. This one says for AJ, contents, battle patches, mid-death pro, Zab Zabadas pro, mask monger. Oh, that's what it says. Vinny Ratlock, the Ratlock Horror Wrestling Show. We get all of that in one package? I'm confused. Uh. All right. Here's the packages. Or the packages. The patches. Fuck. I need to just not do the internet anymore. Mask Monger. Zabadas Pro. Probably not saying that right, but uh, you know what they say. Mid Death. Rat Lock. The Rat Lock Horror Wrestling Show. Anybody get the reference there? All right. We got two, two bagged items. Feels like masks. Left or right? I'll let you guys pick. What do you want to see first? Right. First person said right. Um, that looks fucking brutal. Oh my god. I really, I really thought when I pulled it out and I saw the back, it was just gonna be some shitty, like kid jason hockey mask conversion thing but um that's like some hellraiser shit that looks fucking sweet honestly that's dope as fuck we got big ass strap on the back i need some face paint dude i i actually like it better like not worn it literally looks like someone's face is just flayed over a Weird. I don't know. That thing's sick. Caught me by surprise how cool it actually is. It says Carver on the forehead. And uh, I'll give you guys a close-up. It's kind of like wired in there. I love that. I love that. I love that. That's great. Super dope. Really like that. Cool. All right. That leaves the left. What do we got? Give you guys first look again. Looks gross again. Another little, little nasty, little nasty surprise there. This one looks sweet too. Same mold, I'm guessing, because it says Carver on the on the head. Not too shabby. <sighs> Stuff like that needs face paint. Use your imagination. Hell yeah. Super sick. What a good episode. Um, I guess I'm supposed to shout out uh, Vinny, Vinny Ratlock for that one or Mask Monger or all of the above. I don't know. That one fits your face good. Yes, it does. That's what she said. Hell yeah. Well, shout out to, uh, let's, let's just do this one. The Ratlock Horror Wrestling Show. And we'll have to follow up with these. The Bishop and AJ and the Bishop alone. This thing's dope. Love that. I just want to hang that in my kitchen. Um. Well, we have one more, and it's for Madison. I guess I should just uh, not do it. Make her wait till the next episode, even though she's dying. She wants me to have this package so bad. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll just uh, save it for the next one.
She won't mind. Okay. Enough fucking around. Let's go ahead. It's a heavy one. Heavy duty. Madison might be my biggest fan. And she owns the first ever real AJ Good death mask. The first one ever. It's all white. It's got like electric tape around it. It's got face paint on it a little bit. There might be like a photo of me wearing it out there. She owns the real one. Uh, I also have video evidence of her like she's going to be upset about this. Literally crying because her parents got her a cameo and she was watching it and she was so happy about it. Sorry. Um, all right. We got a note first says, AJ, I made this with my bare hands. So hopefully you don't hate it. See you in October. Sincerely, Madison. 5, 15, 23. Kept her waiting for a minute. What's today? Is this the sixth month? Yeah, like a month and a half. Whoops. Whoops, sir. I can. I think I have an idea as to what it is. Uh, I can see it peeking out of here. Uh, and I don't hate it. It's probably going to get much use. Oh, God. Oh! <gasps> Made with bare hands. Didn't even use human hands to make this. But I love my cheetah print shit. <laughs> how sick is that? Don't you talk, but how sick is that? That's pretty fucking sick. Look at that. Love our cheetah print shit. This was made with bare hands. Cheetah skin and bare hands. Pretty sick, Madison. You did well. You did good. It is. It is comfortable. It's very cozy. It's very, uh, it's, it's, you can tell that it's like soft and fuzzy and shit, but it's breathable. I don't feel like super hot. I like it. <laughs> Bullshit. No, no, no. It is. Yeah. You fuck. All right. Is it heavy? It's kind of heavy. It's heavy duty. It's double sided. It's those ones that have, like, you pick one side that has, like, a cool print, and then you pick another side that's whatever, and then you just tie them together. She tied every single one of these. Hell yeah. All right. Shout out to Madison. Biggest fan. Also, not an idiot for a girl and a teenager. She's... She's got a brain. I don't know. Shout out to Madison for the blanket. The super sick blanket. Appreciate that. Shout out to everybody that sent in. This was a good episode. Uh, this was... Uh, how many tech decks do you have? Fuck, I don't know. I have a literal two moving totes full of un like boxed ones and then another tote of unboxed ones. I don't know. People should send you tech decks. Someone sent me a tech deck today. All right. Yeah, shout out to everybody that sent in. This was a really good episode. Shout out to all the folks uh, supporting from the chat. Lots of uh, super chats. And as I say that, we get another one from Nick Shades. He says, been a while. It has been a while. Been a while since I've been on the chat. I'm all ready for Pale Fest 2023. People should really make the effort to come. Definitely a unique experience. You guys have no idea. Last year was seriously just uh, us dipping our toes in the water and trying to understand exactly what we're doing. This year is on a whole other level. I keep forgetting that we haven't given all the news away. So there's still like this giant announcement coming on July 1st. And people are going to literally poop their pants straight off of their body. The shit is going to come out at such a hard, heavy, fast velocity that your pants are going to fly off. There's going to be lawsuits. People are going to be suing me and Bishop because their pants are going to get ruined from the shit fucking hitting their pants so hard that their pants fly off of their bodies. Trying to get my mom to let me go to hell fast. Just tell her if she doesn't let you go, you're going to start doing drugs. All right, guys, we got to pack up, get this over with. Kill Tony is happening. Maybe it's already over by now. I don't know, but we've got Kill Tony to watch. So shout out to everybody for sending in. I appreciate it. Another shout out to everybody that uh, super chatted. We had crazy good super chats. 
We had a $50 super chat, a $35 super chat. That's fucking rad. We had very nice words said. So um, anybody that wants to send in, as always, my address is always going to be down below in the description of my videos. And it is also always in the bio of my Instagram. So hell yeah, this was a fun time. Very wholesome, very fun, very cool stuff. And I'm looking forward to the next Mailbox Monday. So uh, yeah, I never know how to end these, but I'm going to end it right now. So new video dropping tomorrow. Bye forever.